Hi everyone, welcome to my art class. Today I'm going to show you how to make this snowy house for the holiday. Okay, and today we are going to need a lot of lot um a, a lot of materials. So first one we will need the scissors and the glue stick, ruler, and pencil. I will use Sharpie because uh when I drawing it on the screen you can see better and uh, you will need three to make snow this one it's tempera white tempera paint and this one it's glue okay white glue and this one it's the shave cream okay and we are going to use these three items to make the snow so we will need the cup and stick to stir later on and then we use q-tip to apply okay so let's get starting it let me switch camera okay you can see right here right now first I'm going to use blue paper blue paper will be my background paper okay and first I like to think about to make the uh, square or rectangle I'm going to make a rectangle for the house base and then later on I'm going to make the roof okay so for the house I'm going to use orange you can use any color you like okay you can use any color you like and let's draw orange above around this big okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to use ruler so it helps me to make the straight line and you are going to use pencil okay so pencil can help you to to draw the line better and in case if you didn't do it right and you can erasing it and do it again okay so for me i will start to make the line make a straight line let me see by using ruler this one is easier how easier to make line make straight line by using ruler and then let's make another straight line on the left and on the right too okay about here and then make the straight line and then we can close up right here Okay, we have uh, the rectangles for the house, okay? And then I have a print out right here. Okay, I did the print out, so I'm going to use the print out and cut. All right, so I will just need one. If you like to make more, you can always make more, okay? So first one, let's follow the line and cut. Nice and slow follow the line nice and slow follow the line so this one is going to be the base for the house okay so i'm done for this part okay i bring the blue paper over I'm going to glue it on the bottom. You can, you know, do it anywhere you like, but I'm going to center it, all right? So let me open my glue stick, apply glue. Okay, and then flip it over. Glue it on. So we have a nice base for our house. Okay, the second one, I'm planning to make a roof, okay? I'm choosing this dark green color, okay? So all you need to do, make a three dots. So center first, and then have your ruler ready. You should measure a little bit, and then make dots. 
Okay, you can see I have a one, two, three dots. And then let's use ruler, connect it all together. Dots to dot. Diagonal line. Dots to dot. Diagonal line. And then close up. So you see we have a roof right here. Okay? And then you are ready to cut. For me, I already have a print out. Okay, you can see this one right here. So I'm going to just cut one off. Okay, I'm going to cut one off. And follow the line. Nice and neat. Very simple, right? Because today we are using shades, right? We are using shapes to create a house. Okay, so this triangle is going to be our roof. Okay. All right. Let me bring this one over. Ready. Right over here. Right? It's going to be the roof. So let's get a glue stick. All right. Put some glue. some glue all right flip over okay put it in the center and glue it on all right we have our house ready all right next one i'm going to design a door okay a door all right well, i'm going to use the red paper okay and the door, I'm going to make it a little bit longer. So I'm going to need the re rectangle shape. Okay. So again, okay. I'm going to make two dots first. One dot, two dot. Connect dots. All right. And then here you can sort of measure it a little bit right here because you can see how long it might be. Okay, like that. Okay, this one looks good. All right, let's connect that. Same thing here to here. So let's make a dot on the bottom. Connecting it and close up. All right, once you're done, you can add a doorknob, any kind of doorknob you like, or you want to design your house, you can do any kind of design, okay? I, I will just keep it simple, but some of the students like to do a lot of beautiful design, and you should do that, okay? All right, let me put this one on the side, because I have a spring out already. I use computer drawers for the classes. So, all right, so students can all do it together. Let's follow the line and cut. Follow the line and cut. Nice and neat. Nice and neat. Okay, and again, you can always create on your own, you know, any kind of door, not any kind of shape, okay? And then here, you can design where you want to put your door, okay? For me, I will put it on the side, I wanted to add the two windows right here. And some of students might thinking about, okay, can I put it in the middle and then add two windows on the top, and maybe on the second second uh on the roof as well yeah you can do that okay so it's really uh anybody's preference 
okay so this one I won't glue it I will show you you know how many a lot of different options you can do it later okay so I won't glue it I will just put it on the side all right and next one we are ready to make some windows I like to use yellow to make windows okay and for the windows you can make square or rectangle it's all up to you okay so at first you can start with the two dots okay and then let's connect the lines okay and then here on the bottom like the dots connect line on the bottom connect line okay and then close up close up okay and then you find a center find a center Make a line and then here you find a center find a center and close up and you will have the windows okay and you can make as many as you want and for me I will have a three of them okay I will have a three of them so you can start to draw more windows okay so more windows all right let me put this paper on the side you can see i have a list print out so i'm going to go ahead just cut three windows right here okay all right ready all right, let's follow the line and cut, all right? Follow the line and cut. I'm going to cut it all together. Okay, and trim here. All right, and then this side right here. here all right clean 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 <laughs> all right and then i can cut in between now i have a one window ready two windows three windows and some of the students like to design their own windows, okay? That's more advanced. That's good. You can always design your own windows and do whatever you like to do and then design your house, okay? And right now I have a three windows. I'm going to start to arrange it, see how I like it, okay? You can think about, oh, this will look nice like that, right? Then you can also be like this will be look nice and you can turn you can turn any way you like it any way you like it okay so for me I think this one looks good I'm going to go ahead and start to gluing it all right flip over put glue Right, flip over, glue it on, okay, and here, let's measure a little bit, I'm going to start with the top first, put some glue, flip over, little bit right here yeah I think this is good all right the bottom one put some glue okay 
flip over. I'm going to put it right here. That looks nice. Okay, the other one right here. Okay, you can design how you want to put it. Like this, I think this one is pretty long already. So I'm going to put it this way so it don't it doesn't look too long. All right, here it looks good. All right, glue it on. Okay, and if you like it, you can always use a pencil marker and color pencil, draw people inside. That would be really fun to do. Okay, or you can draw some, uh, use color pencil marker, anything to draw some decoration on the door. That will be a lot of fun. All right, but because we have a limited time and I want to really want to show you how to make the snow. This is my favorite, favorite part to make snow for this house, okay? So first I'm going to have a little cup and this one is the stick, you can get any kind of stick, okay? And first I like to put some, this one, uh, tempera paint, white tempera paint. And you don't need to put a lot, actually we are not going to use a lot. So just put a little bit. Well, this is already too much for one painting, okay? So just put a little bit, you don't need a lot, okay? All right, once you're done, you are going to have a glue, okay? And then put some glue in there. And the portion probably half and half, okay? You don't need to do exactly, okay? Half and half, it's good already, okay? This one, it's helping you to form, uh, make the foam stay, okay? To, to not disappear okay so this one you can see it's a, a chef queen and then you have to shake 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 before you using it shake 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 keep on shaking shaking and then open it up and put a little bit in there okay you don't need a lot Ooh, you see one squeeze already have at least much i think this one will be good enough if you want it a little bit more for me, you can always put some more. Okay, let's use this stick. Stir, stir, stir. And make sure you mix well with the bar on the bottom because there's the pen and the glue. And that's how they keep those for me to stay in a shape. Okay. And you will look puffy puffy after it gets dry okay this is special formula all the kids love it all the kids love it all right so i'm trying to stir well you can see i'm stirring it trying to bring the bottom paint and the glue to the top and so it won't just have a warm only so it mix well with the glue mix well with the paint that will be really really nice wow you can look at that it's already beautiful beautiful snow we can use already all right here we go all right next one we can get a q-tip you see a q-tip right here okay ready ready Okay, I'm going to start to put some snow, okay? You can use your Q-tip. Tap. Tap. Okay, now the big one, right? So you can scoop. It's okay. You can scoop. Tap it on. Tap it on. Tap it on. Tap it on. Okay? So you can do it any way you like it. Snow, you will stay puffy. Just put it on, put it on, put it on, any way you like it. I'm going to put a lot on the roof right here. Okay, I'm going to put a lot. 
on the roof right here Ooh, so fun right to especially doing this you want to stay puffy puffy you really look like the snow and then it smells so good you know it smells so good too because of the shave cream you have a really really nice fresh smell okay let's put some snow put some snow here and there wherever you wear anywhere you like it here and there here and there on the side in the house on the top of the roof anywhere you like it a little bit on the window might be nice too on the window <laughs> look at that on the window and here too on the window more and more and more have fun okay have fun this is really really you know the most of the kids the part they like it so much okay let's put some snowy ground on the side this q-tip and you can always spray spray out this one will stay puffy after it get dry okay okay let me move up a little bit take a lot of knots of for me then put it on put it on um, walking on, put it a lot everywhere. Ooh, too much, and then you can open the door. Okay. Maybe just on the side, not on the over the door. Okay. And then a lot on the roof. If you like. A lot on the roof. like you can put it anywhere you like okay you can put it anywhere you like and have fun okay i'm going to do a little bit here i can't stop doing it it looks so it's so fun to make those snow and then put it everywhere i almost want to use this one to cover almost everywhere because this one smells so good and it really look like the snow ground snowy snowy snow puffy 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 okay so this is the project we finish it today okay do you like it all right so i'm going to show you in a different view okay let me switch camera look at that Ta -da! do you like it snow mm, smell good and then pretty too okay and then remember once it gets dry it will stay puffy okay remember the formula okay again i will let's do it again tempera paint white glue and chef cream these three okay mix together and then you will have a very very nice nice snowy ground like that all right i hope you enjoy the lesson and then let's see you next time, okay? And I wish everyone have a very, very happy holidays. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye, everyone.